this is until the end of 2026. What is yes. the long-term plan? Yes, the long-term plan is that open printing gets turned into a full sub-organization of the Linux Foundation, okay. and that we are talking with companies who benefit most of, of printing in free software, mm -hmm. which is, for example, the distributions and uh, also office applications and and many and, and also these companies who make computers laptops which are designed for use with linux mm -hmm. like system 76 framework tuxedo and so on mm -hmm. and and there we want to we want to get uh, we we want to uh, um, uh, get them to to subscribe as a member mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. a member of open printing mm -hmm. and so pay an, an annual fee and this way they assure that printing just works mm -hmm. and this we are now in it's now in the work that we as we are establishing this mm -hmm. how much work is required to make this happen uh, it is yes it is organizational work mm -hmm. there are some email forth and back only the managers of of the linux foundation do not have so much time so that the linux forth and back the the email forth and back is not that quick mm -hmm. and but we are we are very close to completing it mm -hmm. We have practically settled on everything. Okay, okay. So that makes that like makes things I guess far more comfortable then. Once once you know there is a place that this can exist, and once you have that funding established, then basically hopefully you don't have to worry about things again like this in the future. Yes, yes. I hope I can get it uh, then running permanently, mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, so that open printing gets self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the fan fa and, and the schemes are way way different in different uh, uh, free software projects. Mm -hmm. Open printing is an infrastructure project. So most people do not really see it. Mm. They see that it just works and they see also if it does not work. So it's like a wastewater system or so. <laughs> and, and... and you're the one who's <laughs> saying that about your project. I didn't say it. That feels like a really mean way to describe <laughs> or, or, it. Or like a public transport network, but public transport is much more visible. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also the public transport company doesn't does does a lot more marketing because mm -hmm. you can in in terms of public transport, you can opt between your car or or using the public transport. Mm -hmm. So they have to do a lot of marketing. Yes. I, I, I like I, I'm, with... I'm doing also a lot of marketing, but not to the users. I do the marketing to the developers mm -hmm. because I need developers to work together with me to, mm -hmm. uh, on on the printing stuff. I like that you went with wastewater though. Like you could have just gone <laughs> with the electrical network or just regular plumbing. You decided to go with that <laughs> one though. <laughs> Yes, and so so we are an infrastructure pro mm -hmm, uh, project. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the uh, sovereign tech agency is supporting us, and it is in it, a lot of con it, it is a lot in contrast, for example, to a project like Thunderbird. Mm. Thunderbird is also self-sustaining, but it is uh, but it is uh, uh, based mainly on on uh, donations from users. Mm -hmm. But it is more; it is easier to get user donations for for such a desktop application. Once the people are directly interacting with the desktop application, we are using Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. And second, in the desktop application, 
if you have some area which would be empty, for example, if you start the program and do not yet choose one of your mailboxes, mm -hmm. you would have an empty window. Mm -hmm. And they simply put the, the call for donations into this empty space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're in a more similar place to something like um, GCC, where you don't really see it, or GLibC, or any other, like, system D, anything like this, where it's it's yes, running yes. in the background, and you, you know it's doing stuff, but unless something goes wrong, you never really think yes. about it. And the normal user do not even want to know what it is. Right. They only know that their computer boots, and that all the components which are needed that the computer works are <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... And the people who are, are, are shouting out loud, we do not want system D, these are not norm, normal users. These are Linux geeks who do not like system D and who want to may have a distribution which, which does the same thing on with other means. <laughs> and, but for, for open printing, we are also in the situation that do printing with other means. Mm -hmm. I think currently there's nothing which is actively supported mm -hmm. to do printing. Mm -hmm. It's only cups. Are there other? I don't, actually don't even know. Are there other attempts to do printing, or is it actually just cups? No, no. Then yes, yes. That, I, I've never seen that anybody else has tried to do any competing attempt neither by creating a new printing system, mm -hmm. nor by forking anything from open printing and mm -hmm. developing it on, on their own. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. never happened. This means also, this is also for me, it means that developing on printing is not attractive. Right. There are many other much more interesting things in the free software world, which the people would grab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and therefore I, I have to do a lot of marketing. Yeah, even other infrastructure projects don't necessarily have that problem, right? Like System D, they don't really have trouble getting contributors or uh, just you know Pipewire or a lot of these other things that we'll rely on. But I guess for some reason, just feel more attractive. Yes, yes. Perhaps, perhaps also in another point is perhaps that printing mm. is associated with the with with what the people consider the most hated piece of hardware, the printer. Right. There is this idea that printing doesn't work, and obviously, like you've put a lot of work into making printing work, but why? Like, what is it about printers that give people this perception yes and another thing is also the the razors and blades model that people have to 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 pay a lot for ink and that the manufacturers try to get to move them away from third party ink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um yeah um, i was asking um what like why do people have this perception that printers don't work yes one thing is also there are, there are different reasons one thing is if you have the windows operating system which mm. is an operating system which is more most widespread on the desktop in this operating system printer drivers have have been all the time kernel drivers mm. So they are very deeply in the system. And when the printer driver crashes, the whole system crashes. And to install a new printer driver, you have to, to reboot the system and so on. Mm -hmm. And when a printer gets old, the, the code of the driver is old because the manufacturer uh, does not support it for the eternity. Mm -hmm. So you have a very new and shiny windows, but somewhere in the kernel is sitting an old, old printer driver, mm -hmm. and this breaks your system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, and so this is, all, so you get the software instability on printer drivers. Mm -hmm. 
in Windows, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. also one reason why people are uh, complaining about printing. Mm -hmm. And it is difficult to uh, chase down when printing does not work to chase it down in Windows. It all, often leads them that they just reboot and, and that they turn, uh, turn on and turn off the printer, everyone does, mm -hmm. but they just they just reboot and uh, uh, even in, uh, reinstall the whole operating system again and so on. And another thing is, yes, yes, Microsoft is remedying this mm -hmm. by that they have done away with classic printer drivers. They support mm -hmm. like we are also doing CUPS 3.x. They support only uh, IPP driverless printers, modern driverless printers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and this means that, uh, that the old printers will not work anymore. But Microsoft, in contrary to us, is saying throw away the old printer. Right. But we at Open Printing, we in the free software, we are sustainable. We are keeping, we are conserving the old drivers. And now, in preparation for the switch over to CUPS 3.x, mm -hmm. I have created a printer application, four printer applications. Printer applications are emul emula software emulations of driverless IPP printers, mm -hmm. which incorporate the the old printer drivers and on the front end they are driverless printers and on the back end they are talking with the old printers mm -hmm. this way in linux when we switch over to not supporting uh, classic printer drivers anymore switch over to cups 3.x mm -hmm. the old printers continue to work mm -hmm. and one thing is in Windows, you can also make the old printers continue to work. Uh -huh. As Microsoft is so generous and includes uh, WSL, Windows <laughs> for Linux. And I have already three years ago on the first Open Printing Summit given a lightning talk about that. And this was the most successful part of the whole conference, the most talked about part of the whole conference. Even that I have done much, much more, much more important and impactful things on that conference as organizing a part of it, organizing a SNAP workshop series of five workshops on it, doing a SNAP panel and doing an open printing panel. But the little 10 minutes lightning talk, probably because Mark, Mark's first words when he opened the conference were Mark Shuttleworths. <laughs> the first words when he opened the conference was when he talked about what we can expect on the conference was, to talk about my lightning talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 